Hey guys, my name is Bria and welcome back to the 100% playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Now last episode we stopped here over at the ransacked village where we have the quest missing in action. We need to find and talk to Dune, but for now let's go into the quest log and see what this quest is actually all about. As it turned out, Geralt was not alone in searching White Orchard for a lost loved one. The Witcher also found the notice of a peasant who was seeking his brother. The brother had left home to take up arms against Nilfgaard. The forces of the North and the Black Ones had then clashed in a great battle near the brother's home village and the peasant had not heard from his siblings since. So Dune's over there and I suggest we go and talk to him. Do that often? Talk to your dog. It's my brother's, Bastion's. But I guess he's mine now. See, Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. I haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn a feared he was. Bloody hell. So now we have one dialogue option only, and the second one is to break off the conversation, so let's choose walk the battlefield. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses. And corpses feeding. Someone told me they're afraid of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Poor shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen. Guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. And once again, only one dialogue option. I'll help. Fine, I'll help you. Just... Been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. I would have thought. But I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. Alright, so we need to meet Doom near the battlefield. And I do believe the battlefield is very close to where we actually started off. Which is, I believe, somewhere over in this area. So before we do that, let's actually... Uh, go over here and then perhaps even do a nice quick round of all the leftover question marks so we can finish this chapter of uh, the story hopefully in this episode so let's actually go ahead and go to the first question mark of this episode of course our main focus will be this quest, we want to do this quest. I do believe we also have none other. We do have Contract Devil by the Well, but we only have to return to Odoland for a reward. And we also have to prepare to leave White Orchard with Vesemir. And that's about it. So these two quests are the only thing that, is, that are keeping us in White Orchard at this point. Let's go ahead and also grab Alchemical ingredients, as always. A monster nest. There is no monsters nearby, though. I will preemptively cho choose Igni. Ghoul nest. Ought to just destroy it. And we do have the right bomb to destroy the monster nest. Wonderful. And we can also loot it. Gold ruby ring, that's going to bring in quite some money, I believe. Now we can go up the hill to the tree, I believe, we first started at. Yes, indeed. This was our little encampment over here. And we can even ignite the fire. There's some provisions left here, maybe not the smartest. But we do need to meet Dune, so let's go ahead and meet the good man. Somewhere over here, oh, there he is, with his trusted dog. You're here, good. Bastion, his body must be here somewhere. Among countless others. Want to examine them one by one? 
Could take a while. You needn't fret. The recruits from White Orchard painted a small flower on their shields so as to be able to spot each other in battle. There was just a few of them. We look for the flowers, we'll find Bastion quick. No offence, but many a soldier's dropped his shield. Especially if he was on the losing side. If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on! The sooner we get this done, the better. Okay, well, we need to use our Witcher senses to search for Temerian shields with small white flowers painted on them. While we are at it also, we will... We will loot as much as we can. See if we can get any better... Can I not get stuck? Thank you. See if we get any better gear, maybe even... Stuff that we can sell. Ooh, water. And we have ghouls. So let's go ahead and use Igni. Try and dodge. Unsuccessfully. Roll away. And there it is. So that's two ghouls that we had to eliminate. Let's loot some more. And yes, I will take everything we can loot because it is early game and we do need the stuff badly. There we go. Even something over here. Yes, indeed, a chest with hunting gauntlets. So let's go ahead and see if there are any better... They are because they do have plus 3% resistance to burning. It's not much, but it's something, so I will gladly take that. And there's a lot of bodies, a lot of corpses over here. Looks like the battlefield was pretty rough for... Well, so far I'm seeing Temerian soldiers only. There might be no guardians in the mix as well. Axe heads, maces, it's all stuff we can sell and make a profit. There's one other ghoul. Okay, let's use Igni again, roll and try to deal some damage. There is one shield. That him? No. Neighbor's son. But it's not the one we are looking for. Come on, Asa! Can you smell Bastion, boy? There is another shield. That him? No. Doesn't look anything like him. This is where we came in from, and there is another shield. Uh, skin is burned off. Can you smell Bastion, boy? Might be hard to tell, I know, but could this be him? Oh, he found okay, the quest him. The SARS caught his scent. Come on. And we need to follow the dog's trail, or we can just, you know, follow the. Dog. Yes, let's follow Hussar and see see where the dog brings us. There's the trail. There's the dog but to there a is house. More. My lieutenant demanded we defecate on command. Ballista bolts landing all around, and all he could say was, "A soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield." Now, shit, that is an order. Can you believe it? The cretin. Stop! Oh, you're, oh, you're killing me. My, my ribs. Oh, it hurts to laugh. That needs a tourniquet. But first, want to explain what's going on here. Bastion! Is he... Has this Nilfgaardian captured you? No. He saved my life. I, I got a cut to me side. And then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rosin here found me as as he crawled across the battlefield. 
his legs twisted. And so we were. Blind man leading a cripple. Found this place. I'm taking you home. We need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rose in here. I'll own he'll die. And he can't go back to his home. He's deserted. They'll hang him. And what if they find him with us? They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the Blacken stays here. Now there's two options here. Your brother's right, it's too risky. Or if not for him, Bastian be dead. While Roshan did actually do something, I believe, unheard of in the Guardian Empire and helped somebody from the opposing side get to safety and then deserted himself. I guess because he doesn't like the war, he doesn't like fighting. Or it's just too much for him. It is risky. Dune is right. It is risky because Nilf Guardians you've seen from from the sites around Wild Orchard, they are pretty much merciless. But he did risk everything to get Bastian to safety and himself, so if not for him, Bastian be dead. Bastion only made it with the Black One's help. Maybe you ought to show him Nordlings aren't as barbarous as Nilfgaardians make us out to be. Well, I could give him our pa's clothes, teach him to work the field, but that accent... Fine, I'll take him in. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward, and the gods protect you. And that is it. The quest is completed. We did get 25% 25 points of experience. And the only thing we have to do now basically is hand the other quest in and leave White Orchard to see oh, to see where uh, Yennefer is at. But let's first see if we can actually loot some more. And it does look like we can. That's Soldier's Letter. Let's go ahead and read this. Gustav, I've got something to ask of you. I've come into the possession of quite the stash of valuables. Don't ask how modesty prevents me from trumpeting the heroic deeds I performed in the fight for our beloved fatherland. At any rate, there's so damned much of it that there is no way in any hell I'll carry it back on my own, so I've put everything in a chest and buried it, and buried it on the beach, at the base of the cliff with two burnt out huts on it. You know, we'd go crayfish hunting there, remember? So here's what you got to do. Grab a wheelbarrow, throw a shovel in it and take it to the beach, but make sure no one sees you. We'll load the treasure and sell it all in Vizima and split the earnings 50-50 like, like family should. See you later and remember, not a word to anyone, Yohan. I do believe we already looted that treasure with all the drowners around it. So that's actually completed. I don't think it... maybe it would have activated if we came here earlier in the game. But there's no way of telling. So let's go ahead and loot the remaining corpses as morbid as it is. And we are encumbered. <laughs> this is not exactly as I planned it to go, but um, yeah, this was also something I was afraid of would happen. I also don't necessarily know if eating a rotting, rotting meat from a horse corpse is healthy. But it's listed as raw meat, so I guess it goes into our consumables. 
Alright, so we have a monster nest and something else over here. I do believe it's... It is a place of power, so we get another skill point. We can loot the ghouls as well. And after that, I do believe I will go to the first waypoint and fast travel. Or actually, power. I will call very likely a. Not A. I will call Roach. I will go to White Orchard to sell all the goodies. Just so we can be lightweighted again. And I do believe we have to activate it again because it didn't work the first time. So let's go on in over here. And let's go with... Sign Intensity for Igni. This is something I want to work towards. Igni and Quen first and foremost. Then also grab Delusion and continue on with uh, combat over here. Okay, I do believe there is a couple more bodies over here that we can loot. Again, as, as morbid as it is. And there's apparently another ghoul. And we got 75 more experience points. Can we loot? No. Now let's go ahead and do what we plan for the third time now. And then let's go ahead and call Roach. Just so we can go to the nearest... No, no, no. No. Let's actually go all the way to... To White Orchard. Let's go all the way to White Orchard to sell. Very likely... Well, who do we sell things to? I think I will start with... Um, I will start with the blacksmith and then continue on with... the merchant at the beginning of... of the village by, by the bridge. It shouldn't take all that long to get there because the beginning map is quite small, despite it not looking as small as it actually is. Now Roach needs to replenish stamina. And while we are at, a, at the blacksmiths, I also want to... I also want to grab... the Viper Silver Sword. Mm, let's not follow the road, let's go over here. Just to shorten the time, because we will go to the village where the ghost was, where the wraith was, by the well. So let's just forego that and go over here in this area. And there is... Master Willis, if I remember correctly. Yes. Hello, good sir. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? I first and foremost want you to show me your wares. Show me what you got. Just so I can sell a lot. Okay, he's an armorer. So we can go ahead and sell... No, no, not these. <laughs> do, I, 
But I them back now? I wanted to save them. Actually, like, yeah, it's, it's a waste of money. But it's gonna be fine. Haunting gauntlets. This is also the stuff I want to keep. How much would you give me for the swords? Three? Ah. Uh, I mean, okay. Let's... No, I don't want to sell that either. For purposes you will see later on, I promise. And there is a ton of stuff over here. These are all rusty swords that don't really have much of any DPS value. And he also has no money. Do I need you to craft something for me? Like you to forge something. Oh, for I me. actually think yes. Not hunting boots, chest armor. Yes, and we need wire. Uh, 12 thingies? Yeah, let's go ahead and buy that. Warriors, like, could I have crafted that, actually? No. No, I couldn't. It's okay. So let's grab the warrior's leather jacket, and that's plus 15 armor. And a lot of bonuses over here. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. So long. And seek out the the merchant over here. Oh. Hello. Greetings. Hello, hello. We are Let trying to sell stock. more things. Yes, indeed. Okay, I said I wanted to keep that. I want to get rid of all of this, however. And he isn't giving us much more either for this stuff. Maybe... Does this... Yeah, this is the same. Let's get rid of this. Gold ruby rings. Actually, let's... Can we... 30 inventory. I don't even know if we have any at our disposal, but let's go ahead and buy this and then sell him more things. Let's sell him all of this actually. Yes, nice this as well and we can get rid of all of these books except for these two we do have to read these two but not just now can i buy these as well no what about the saddle no nothing nothing else okay i think we are good over here take care Short, not in your life. Mm, and what to do now? Let's see what we actually have um, still to do. So there's a couple of question marks. They should be easily done. So I think we will go over here and then just travel down. I think that should be a good idea. So let's zoom out. Let's go to the Nilfgaardian garrison. Heard of the Vlyhead Brigade? Your kind, sir. Not you. And we do have a crossbow. And I do believe the first question mark should be over here. Somewhere over here, at least. Yes, we do see red spots in the water. So let's go ahead. Oh, those are level 10 drowners. actually select them that's one that's the other one hopefully down in one more shot yes wonderful okay let's we actually don't need to actually yeah let's go up let's go up and let's take a dive over here see what we have just this i believe 
Yeah, some hunting trousers and some gold. There is one more drowner, but I don't want to fight him. Then we have two question marks over here. That's relatively close as well. And the drowner is still following us. And there's wolves. We do have Igni selected. In case we do need to fight them. And I do believe we... Maybe we don't if we just run. And they didn't attack us so there is no fight. Which makes things much much easier. And how are we on weight? 22. That's, that's good. We should be good to go. There's another ghoul nest, actually. Another ghoul nest and another place of power. Magic. A place of power. We don't have the right bomb. I guess we do need to meditate one hour. Yes. If Geralt could stand up and fight the ghouls, that would also be wonderful. That's one, and there should be the other. Okay. And let's destroy nest. the nest. Wanna just destroy it. Let's destroy the nest and grab the place of power. Place of power. Should draw from it. Or actually let's fight this ghoul that keeps popping up after I destroy the nest. And we get additional experience. Very nice. So yeah, let's grab this. And immediately go into our character menu. This opens at level 4. We are almost there. And so let's go with another point into Igni since we are using it a lot. And let's see where our next question mark is. I would say we go over here. And for that I will call Roach. Go, go. It's called Roach, and let's go, I believe. Is this over here already? No, that's something else. That's a little house. By the mill. Okay, and we have to go past the mill over in this direction. Oh, so here it is. A hidden treasure. Okay, we have wolves. Ow, ow. And the other ones are not bothering us just yet. So let's go ahead and try to loot what we can. And there is a lot to loot over here. Scrawled notes. And some decoctions and diagrams. Things are going better and better for us. We've pitched camp in the heart of the forest near the old mill and have already done quite nice for ourselves. Folk are poor. So they say, but squeeze them and something always pops out. Sack of grain here, a few crowns there. Not bad for easy work, certainly better than the army. At least we've got something to fill our bellies and the risk that we'll pay for this all with our lives. Well, it's still less than when we were charging the nilfs at Natanis's order. Dirty funds. Let's track this. Find the bandit's treasure using witcher senses. Is a wolf like that attacking my roach? Yes. That's rude. Don't do that. Let's go onto roach and follow this. This quest. 
No. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Just run, Roach. Just run. Run and everything will be fine. We do need to go up here somewhere. Oh, this is, I believe, another question mark. I'm kind of in a not favorable favorable position, but it's fine. Some rope ladder. More things to loot over here, I believe. Indeed, there is a lot to loot. Right. We are doing pretty good so far. So let's go ahead and finish this quest and this location as well, I believe. It's a two and one. Fuck! Hello, good sir. He has a shield, so I will try and no, use Ard. Go behind him or not. But it worked out anyway. I do believe I didn't loot one person over here. But they're relatively close. So we can grab whatever they dropped. Go over here. Ooh, hunting boots. Some random stuff. Soaked leather. To His Excellency Valorad, Lord Mayor of Bezima, Your Excellency, we can wait no longer. The scouts say the Black Ones are already readying their siege equipment. If you wish to escape with your life, please present yourself at the Vizima Temple Quarter sewer entrance tomorrow at the crack of dawn. There is no, not much room on the boot, boat, so take with you. Only your closest family and most valued treasures. I shall provide a few men to act as a guard, but not too many, for I do not wish to attract unwanted attention. We shall sail through Black Soul, Stone War, White Orchard, and Char Charske. From there, we shall continue on horseback. Yannick Dallin. P.S. Do not tell anyone about your flight. We do not wish to arouse panic. Well... And we only have hunting gauntlets from the dirty funds. Let's go ahead and see if anything is better. Yes, plus three, minus three, minus one, and plus one. We don't look bad. We are quite well looking for now. We do still have to repair our sword. But we don't have any means for it just yet. There is also this question mark over here which we didn't grab so i will do just that it shouldn't be all that far i believe it's another camp from miles the looks of it another hidden treasure and also a lot of things to loot don't turn on the fire. Hmm. No. Strange. It's 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 a corpse, Gerald. What's strange about that? Spies notes. Fifteenth day of observation, twenty third of Burke. Back in the camp, brought in heaps of plunder, mostly armor and weapons. At this time, a sealed chest too. Towards dusk, a man delivered rations of food and drink. 16th day of observation, 24th of Berg. Messenger arrived in the camp before dawn, caused quite a stir. They immediately organized a group to transport the chest. After dusk, I'll try to track down where they carried it to. 17th day of observation, 25th of Berg. Didn't move the case that far away, just to the abandoned hut near the old mill. Set up a watch, so I wasn't able to get closer. 18th day of observation, 26th of Berg. Every man in the camp has been drinking since yesterday afternoon. If we attack now, we'd obliterate them. Too bad the commander only sent one 
man, me, to this outpost. I'll try to sneak in tonight. If fortune smiles on me, perhaps one man will be enough. And we also grab deserter's gold. For one reason or another, we were able to grab that. Let's go over here and try to cross this bridge. And also call in Roach, our trusted mayor. Let's go. So yeah, let's go there, see if we can get across, because I do believe over Slow. here it's quite steep and I don't know if we'll be able to go over over these hills. Which is the only reason why I'm actually going here. And this is also quite steep, so Roach doesn't want to go there. But we can go on foot. Um, there are some ingredients. Cackler Bridge. Open? Okay. Oh, and now the door is open. If we went from this, this side over here, it would have been barred, closed. Okay, let's... Actually, actually, let's do something fun. <laughs> let's move the barrels over there, more towards the entrance. Like, like this? Yeah. Maybe, maybe that one shouldn't be rolling off. I don't want it to roll off. No, it's gonna roll off. Anyway. I want to I want to try something. Oh. Nice. <laughs> very very nice. Okay, let's call Roach again. See if she is able to come down now. Yes, there she is. And now over here, this is our last question mark. This is our last question mark, so let's go over this bridge and take the route we already took once before to be able to get to our last question mark. Yes, yeah, see, these hills are just... It's like cliff size. There's no way we would be able to go past that. Well... Bandit camp or not, they're gonna be toast anyway very soon. And you're the last guy. There we go, let's loot them. And I do believe we have anything down there. A couple of things, but I have no idea how to get back up. So we need to prepare and leave Wide Orchard. Come on. With Vesemir. But we also have one other quest to hand in first. So once again, let's take the route we already took today. And go find our good friend Odolan who who gave us the quest to get rid of the devil by the well. And once again, I will take the shortcut. Just to save up some time. And his house is kind of on the outskirts of White Orchard as well. So let's go past the good master dwarf and over on ah. here. This is where Odolan lives with his family. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, 
Claire. Volker. Names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, there's hope for it, at least. So we have two options, thanks or keep the coin for your daughter. Now we already drove the devil quote unquote away. So Mandy is able to get fresh water and get well. And considering that Siri was at one point Mandy's age, I do feel that this would kind of affect Geralt's more fatherly side. So let's be a good bean over here and say keep the coin for your daughter. At this point, doubt I'll ever marry. You keep the coin for Mandy, her wedding. Raise a toast to my health then. Thank you, Master Witcher. Them warm words, you've a good heart. But I can't let you go empty-handed. Take this at least. For luck. For luck. He gave us an amethyst. I honestly do think that's a better reward than the coin, but oh my god, the weather over here is really something. Okay, so there is just one last thing if we look into the quest log. This is an ongoing quest, this will always be here until we complete it. But we also have one last quest, which is Lilac and Gooseberries. Well... We do need to go to the inn. And we also need to talk to Vesemir about leaving White Orchard to go to Vizima. So let's go over here and actually use the stash because I want to stash away this, this, and this. And also the Witcher Steel Sword. For reasons, again, you will see why I'm doing the things I am doing. Now it is quite dark over here, but I do believe this is where I will wrap this episode up. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we are finally leaving White Orchard. We are starting our journey on the vast continent and it's going to be amazing. If you guys want to keep up to date with what I do, mostly off screen, maybe some on screen shenanigans with screenshots and the likes, you are more than welcome to follow me on my socials. My Twitter is at RiaPlaysYT. And my Instagram is at Ria Plays. So once again, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!